What do we do when we feel like God is far away? This seems to be one of the most common experiences of the Christian life. There are times when it feels like God is far away, like he is hiding himself or at least withholding his reviving presence. In those times, we can feel destitute, spiritually dry and desperate for a sense that he is still there, still listening, still caring. We can't seem to eke out a prayer because even our prayers feel empty and they seem to return to us with an echo of defeat. But in those moments, we need to rely on the truth and not our feelings. Because the truth is that God is near even when he feels far away. He is still listening even when everything is so quiet and we hear nothing. He loves and cares for us. He hasn't gone anywhere, but the enemy wants us to believe the total opposite. He wants us to believe that God is far away. He wants us to believe that God has left us, that he has abandoned us. But the Bible is very clear about where God is in relation to you and me. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 to 39. When we feel alone and feel like God is far away, we can take heart because God is near. In the book of John, we read of a time when one of his best friends, Lazarus, died. Mary and Martha were going through a hard time because before Lazarus died, they sent for the Lord. A man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. This is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was sick so the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. John chapter 11 verses 1 to 3. But Jesus didn't arrive in the time they expected. They thought Jesus would rush to heal Lazarus, but that's not what happened. Jesus only arrived where Lazarus was on the fourth day, and by then he was long dead. And listen to what Martha told Jesus when she heard Jesus had arrived. What do we do when we feel like God is far away? Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. John chapter 11 verse 21. She thought that Jesus was far away and because of that, her brother had died. And while it was true that Jesus was far away physically, he was very near. He knew that Lazarus would die and that death would not be the end of the story for them. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God, so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. John chapter 11 verse 4. The enemy thought he had won over Lazarus. He was celebrating, and to the sisters who were heartbroken and defeated, Jesus was far away. Where was he, they must have thought. Their prayers for Lazarus's recovery were not answered, and instead of things getting better, things got worse. They lost their brother. But Jesus was on his way to them, and when he arrived, he showed his glory by raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus responded, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, 
Thank you for hearing me. You always hear me. But I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a headcloth. John chapter 11, verses 40 to 44. The Lord is near even when it doesn't feel like it. He is near when everything is going wrong in our lives. He is near when we are in the fire. When we are in a hopeless situation, there is no reason to fear because we are not alone. God is right by our side. We can call to Him and be confident that He will come to our rescue. I love what it says in Philippians. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verses 5 to 7. Because He is near, we can call to Him in confidence. We can bring our request to Him no matter what we are going through. We don't need to give in to fear and be anxious when we are surrounded by strong enemies. We are not facing them alone. God is with us. He is very near. Let's pray. O oh, glorious God, we will keep crying out to you, even when our words seem to be bouncing off the ceiling, because you are near. No matter what our circumstances and situations say, you are near. That's what your word tells us. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Psalms chapter 145 verse 18. You are closer to us than our next heartbeat. You are with us in every moment. And please forgive us for the sins we have committed. The enemy uses our sins to try to separate us from you. But we repent and we are sorry for what we have done. We need you. We know that as we come to you with a repentant heart, you will forgive us. We don't want to separate ourselves from you because of our sins. Even when we feel like you are a million miles away, we know that our feelings and the reality don't always match. The truth is that you are with us right now and you are always with us. And we are so thankful for that. Lord, we remember the words from Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Even when our hearts are heavy and our spirits are weighed down, we trust that you are near. Your closeness is our comfort in the midst of our trials. Thank you, Father, for your unchanging faithfulness and love. We rest in the assurance that even when it feels like you are far away, you are indeed near. Help us to trust in your promises and lean on your strength. We lay our fears and anxieties before you, confident that you hear us and are always with us. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.